Hey okay guys, so yeah, I've got my design loaded and uh, you can see that my bucket is close to the toe of the slope there, uh, that design element going through there. Uh, you can see here uh, by the profile view that I've got my bucket where, where the line is that I want to select. Problem is that the slope going up here is too steep and I want to flatten it and I want to be able to cut this slope with automatics. So I need to have the design updated, but as an interim I can actually select to go off that toe of the slope and apply a slope that hinges on it. So I'll show you that now so yeah I've just extended the bucket out and put it onto the the ground there and you can see on the screen here that my buckets needs to come up to design so that design element is too steep what I've worked out is I want to actually um, have the slope going up from that toe uh, at 23% so I'll show you now how to actually go in and select the 3d line and um, set that, that slope to be 23% Okay guys, so if you've got a 3D design that's got a, um, a 3D line or multiple 3D lines as a part of it, um, you will see this button down here. This icon here is the 3D line icon. Um, and so we'll go and press that. And then it's gonna ask you to actually select which 3D line you want. And I'm gonna select this line here. Um, if there's multiple lines in that area, you can get a choice. We know we wanna select line 17. And then I could use that for horizontal guidance or these are the new pieces here where I could do the traditional level so then it would create a surface at the elevation of the, the line or you can put a slope on there or, or a dual slope. In this case I'm going to go dual slope and then it's going to ask me, so that dot there would represent the 3D line. I'm going to go a hinge here and I want to go up um, 23% and then on the other guy I want it out zero so you can see that's the surface that it's going to create. If you actually load it up and the slope's in the wrong direction then um, it's depending on which way the line goes, um, which direction of the 3D line. So just come back in and, and edit the left and the right side if it's not quite what you want. But in this case I know that it's 23 up the left hand side of the line um, because the line actually goes uh, in that direction. Uh, so you just hit next and then you can put in basically the width that you want to extend it um, and then if you wanted to extend out either end of the line which I don't want to do here but in this case I'm going to go and put a 10 meter surface extension and you can see the shading here I can see that I'm over the shaded area so my width is, is fine I don't need to make it any bigger um, all we do now is hit apply and then um, it's going to load up that design and if I come through here you can see now that I knew that the um, the slope was 23% up through there and I'm basically on grade and now I can use the system to um, dig this slope. It's going to tie to that, that toe of the slope around there and um, I can carry on and work while I wait for the design to be updated. Another great use of this feature would be if you had a road design and you wanted to cut out um, say the footpath you could select the element of the design, create a surface, and then run your grader or your dozer through and, and dig out to a sloping surface if you wanted to. Some great tools here with Trimble Earthworks. Additional stuff you can do with 3D lines. I seriously suggest you go and have a play and look at what's at your fingertips. Take it easy, guys, and we'll see you next time.